Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure. Today, I'm out in Buckley, Washington, checking out the town. Some cool stuff behind me, and all scattered out through town. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's pretty cool. We got the current Foothills Historical Society building here, and it's like an old cabin. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. It says this cabin was donated by the Washington State Parks. It was built in the early 20s by Washington State Division of Forestry. It was located at Sweet Point, a short distance west of Greenwater. This was the south boundary of the Federation Forest State Park. The cabin was completely dismantled at its former site and reconstructed by the Foothills Historical Society in 1982, right here. So look inside there, because uh, it's not open. We can't go inside, unfortunately. But there's kind of uh, what they got in there. It's kind of cool. So this right here was built in early World War II, and it served as an observation post for uh, aircraft spotters in search of enemy planes. It stood at Mule Springs atop Huckleberry Mountain, and the fire patrol crews later used it. And it was moved here in 1991. So this right here is the Salmon River Lookout. It was built in 1965. So let's go up and check it out. So a little bit more about this. Um, it was built, of course, in 1967. And it served on the Quinault Reservation for up until 1999 when the Quinault Reservation offered it up to the museum here in Buckley where it currently resides. And in 2000, it was rebuilt right here where we're standing right now. And it serves as a monument to uh, what once was over there on the Quinault Reservation. So we're right across the street from the historical museum. As you can see there, we got a bunch of exhibits here. And we'll go and take a look at these ones downstairs here in a minute walk across here and show you guys what's on the other side some cool stuff here and we'll take a look at it with it being closed we can't go inside any of these buildings unfortunately but they have a saw shop here, and I assume that they've got all sorts of implements in here that they used to use, because uh, forestry was a big thing here. So anyways, we'll walk up across and check some other stuff out here like this. This is pretty cool. Little cart. It says water cans on it. I'm guessing they must have used this to haul water cans well let's uh, continue going this looks like a little railroad shed there pretty cool here we got the bunkhouse this is pretty cool look at that massive wheel anybody know what this is off of let me know young ironworks this looks like a snatch block a giant snatch block is that what this is let me know and it looks like a some some more railroad equipment there looks and right here looks like an old wagon of some sort some more farm implements around the other side of there looks like a an old engine from something. Some more farm implements over on that side. We'll go down this way and check some things out here in a minute. But we're gonna keep uh, walking down this way. Get this stuff all checked off for you guys. All right, got some old wagons here. Pretty neat. Look at the horse, he's got a hat on. <laughs> Some more wagons here. 
There's a, a combine thingy, thingamabob. Oh, look at a whole bunch of chainsaws. Some old Sears ones up there. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's get her through the fence there. There's some Paulins there, some Max, an Echo, a whole bunch of Max. It goes all the way down here. Let's go further. I got all sorts of stuff here. There's some Home Lights, Super Wiz. <laughs> Wow, Pioneers, some Remingtons, all sorts of stuff are way down there too. We got more, got some old bells, some more wagons, a grain seeder hanging up there. Man, all sorts of stuff, even some old piping out here. <laughs> hey, look at that, that's cool. A tree farmer. The first of over 20,000 Garrett log skitters in use worldwide. It was manufactured in Enumclaw, Washington, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, and Malmo, Sweden. Let's get in here. Get you a closer look. Unfortunately, this gate kind of complicates matters here. But you can kind of see it decently. And we got an old building here. Let's see what it is. This was the Stilly Kirtley Historic Log Structure. Jeremy Stilly, an Ohio carpenter and farmer, came west in 1857 to California, then to Fort Stillicum in 1862. He appears on a local survey map of 1873 and 75. In 1883, Jerry was appointed postmaster of Marion, just west of Buckley, received a land patent in 1886 for his homestead, now this is the Hagen Dairy, which he sold to the Kirtley family in 1900. Kirtley family remembers the building in the old orchard behind the house being used for pigs and cows. Jerry's brother-in-law was the hop king, Ezra Meeker. He may have raised hops and used that, the shed to dry them. Jerry was better known as a builder of good cabins than a farmer. And it kind of details the the uh, stilly, stilly relationship there and all the things that have happened since. And this structure was rebuilt in 2018 here at this site. Pretty cool. Behind the last fence here, we've got Pacific Car and Foundry Co's Logging Arc, patent 1933. That is a giant, giant thing here. And then over yonder, we turn around to a 1947 Caterpillar D82U. Dang, that thing is massive. I guess it was donated. Oh, it says it was donated by Doug and Jenny Ostergaard in 2016. Wow. <laughs> that is massive. Pretty cool. So this is a this is a Vulcan yarder or a steam donkey, as it's called. It's pretty cool to see the whole thing here. Wow, it's huge. I am 
just enamored by the massive pieces of, of lumber that they used and they shaped out of the I'm sure giant lumbers that they harvested to make these this is absolutely crazy There's Mount Rainier out uh, in the distance there decided to come out of the clouds that were surrounding it earlier. Almost fully visible. Gotta love it. Well, let's walk down the street and check out some more stuff. So here's the school in Buckley. Pretty big building here. It's so right here we got Buckley Hall. Constructed in 1927 for a grain and feed warehouse. So here's the backside of the Buckley Hall here on the bike path here. We'll walk down there and see what uh, see what interesting things we could find down here. Hey, they also got some Japanese maples here. Pretty cool. All sorts of different trees. That's a different fir tree that I've seen. Pretty cool. Gotta love it. Look at this massive tree. And of course, they've got Christmas lights on it. Pretty cool. But look at this. This is like three of three of me stacked together. Like wide. <laughs> Maybe four. Pretty crazy. So we got the first little building here on the corner of Cedar Street and Main. Looks like it's a currently a gaming place. Pretty cool. Lots of cool front fronts of these buildings. It's too bad they don't have the uh, the time period that they were built like usual on these on these guys. Usually you see the dates on the tops of the buildings there, but looks like we don't have any. Here's the last couple buildings here, and then we'll cross back across the street and walk down back through the main drag on the opposite side. That's a pretty cool house over there. A little coffee shop. That's pretty neat. Got like a upstairs balcony. I wonder if that's part of the coffee shop. So looking across the street from us here. Got some cool buildings. Got the Citizens State Bank of Buckley there. The puppers want to say hi. <laughs> really cool downtown area here. Alrighty guys. That's going to do it for our video today. Hope you enjoyed this look at Buckley, Washington. And if you did, you know what to do. Let's smash that like button. Share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe right here to 509 Adventures. And guys, make sure you check out Instagram and the Facebook as well. Um, Instagram at 509.adventures and on Facebook at 509 Adventures. Also, if you guys are interested in getting yourself one of these fancy hats, I got plenty of varieties of them. You can find them on my merch store and the link will be in the description. And guys, don't forget, adventure on. And I'll see you out here in the next one. So we have to get to the chopper. We have to get down now. Ah!